hello everyone welcome back to my j physics channel so in this channel i am very much committed for uh, best content to the students so this is a question uh, very nice question in romanticism like uh, mantic field due to current carrying conductors and due to this mantic field thin walled cylinder will experience a mantic pressure so i think this is a very good concept and uh, can reflect in the final exam also so everybody will try at once okay uh, come back for the solution if you are watching uh, videos first time please uh, do subscribe my channel so that you will get the more number of videos and if you really like the content don't forget to like it and hit the bell icon for uh, new notifications so here is a question uh, through hollow cylinder you can see on the left side hollow cylinder okay so this is the hollow cylinder through hollow cylinder current is flowing actually there will be two types of current flows okay uh, see sometimes they will give you current is flowing along the wall something like this this is the one type of current flowing but this is not the case what we are discussing okay so we are discussing something different now the current flows in the direction which is uh, something like this you can say maybe coming out or going into the cylinder means along the walls current is flowing something in this way so you can take current is flowing downward okay in the diagram also you can see the current flows downward in the right side diagram so current goes along in this direction okay so as the current is going along in this direction then total current goes is i as the current goes in this way then any small elemental part let us say this is the elemental part what we are taking this elemental part will take or will experience some pressure okay so that pressure we want to find out so hope you understood the arrangement okay so then we can go for the question so now to find out the pressure we require obviously force see how the uh, the ideas will go pressure related to force okay and force related to force is related to the field magnetic field okay so now we want to find out the magnetic field then how what magnetic field we want to find out is now we see with another diagrams now this is the cylinder i am taking which is a cross section we are we are looking from the top if you are looking from the top you can see a circle that means you can imagine a cylinder which is perpendicular to screen then how the current flows current flows let us say inside into the plane current is flowing okay into the uh, what is it uh, into the screen maybe mobile or computer screen whatever you are watching into the screen current flows total current is i now what we are doing is we are taking a small elemental part here we are taking a small elemental part that you can see in this diagram here this is the elemental part okay na? this is the elemental part so that elemental part will be something in this way so now at this elemental part i want to find out the magnetic field but this is a magnetic field due to remaining part okay now i don't want i don't want for entire entire cylinder i want to find out the magnetic field due to remaining part then i can find out the force acting on this elemental part so i think you got my idea okay uh, first of all to find out the magnetic field due to remaining part what i'm doing is i'm taking the one gaussian sphere this is uh, i mean sorry ampere ampere loop not gaussian sphere so ampere and loop i am taking so if i am taking the ampere and loop okay now i can find out the field just outside the cylinder i want to find out the field just outside the cylinder uh, you can imagine that amp that ampere loop we can take something like this so i think you understood the logic okay around the cylinder we have to take i didn't draw properly but uh, you can take it down hmm? yeah so as i am taking the ampere and loop now what is the magnetic field calculation so obviously see this is not the magnetic field direction the magnetic field direction at this place uh, is depends on the current direction suppose current is going inward okay now you keep the thumb inward and curl your fingers then um, the magnetic field line will be something in this way which is in clockwise sense then at this point the magnetic field will be tangential 
So if I take any elemental part of DL, the DL also I am taking in the same direction, DL bar also, then ampere formula is Ampere's law. Integral B bar dot DL bar is equal to mu naught into I enclosed. Okay. So now what is the integral B bar dot DL bar? So integral B into DL into as you have seen the DL and B are in the same direction. So cos 0. So mu naught into what is the total current coming out of this loop? See this red color one. Okay, red color dotted one you can take and in this entire current is coming out is oh sorry going inside is I. Okay, so I am taking the total current value is I then it is B will come out but everywhere the B value is same symmetry integral DL is equal to mu naught into I. Okay, so then I can write down this one as B into integral DL is if I am adding all the elemental part it will be 2 pair. So B into 2 pair is equal to we can write down mu naught into I then B value will come out as mu naught into I by 2 pair. So the B value has given like we got mu naught into I by 2 pair which is the magnetic field due to entire cylinder and just outside of it. But what we require, we require the magnetic field due to remaining cylinder than small part what you are taking. So if you see this, okay, uh, if you see this part, okay, this is the small part. Now we want to find out the magnetic field due to remaining entire part uh, at this point so that I can find out the force acting on this elemental part. So I think you got my idea. Okay, so let us go with the calculation of that. So as we got the magnetic field due to entire cylinder is B, now I want to find out the magnetic field due to remaining part. Then how can you do it? For that we require one more idea that is if I take any point which is inside, if I take any point which is inside the magnetic field will be zero. Why? Because there is no current uh, what is it enclosed if I take any loop inside. If I am taking any loop inside there will be no current flowing out of it. So then obviously then mu naught into 0 then magnetic field will become 0. So like that you take any point magnetic field inside is 0. It's something like just electric field due to uh, hollow sphere. Okay. So same as that. Okay. Magnetic field inside is 0. Outside is mu naught I by 2 pi R. So now the question is what is the magnetic field? Okay. Now I am taking the entire cylinder into two parts. One is small part. The other one is remaining part. Okay, small part is here. Let us say this is the small part and this is the remaining part. So I am not getting diagrams properly. Okay. Hmm. So then I am taking that magnetic field at this point. Okay. Magnetic field at this point due to remaining part is let us say B1. B1 is the magnetic field. Okay. Hmm. So magnetic field due to magnetic field to this small part is B2. This is the first arrangement and this is the second arrangement I am taking. So because of the first arrangement B1 is something like this let us say. Why I am taking the only leftward direction because here I got magnetic field in the leftward direction. That is why I am taking in the leftward sense. Okay. And because of the second part also, because of second part also I got the magnetic field B2 in the same direction outside whereas inside if, if one magnetic field is in leftward, the second magnetic field should be rightward. I think you understood the logic. Okay. See, let us take, I am explaining that part, that logic again. If I take two parts, inside net magnetic field is zero. Outside magnetic field is not equal to zero. If outside I am taking the B1, magnetic field due to first part and magnetic field due to second part are in the same direction, definitely the magnetic field due to inside due to first part is leftward then magnetic field due to second part will be rightward. So that this B1 minus B2 should be equal to 0 inside. Whereas B1 plus B2 should be equal to mu naught I by uh, 2 pi R. So hope you understood. Same logic I think you applied even in uh, electrostatics also whereas in electrostatic pressure. So please let me know in the comments if you require the electrostatic pressure 
uh, on a conductor so I will discuss it I will post another video on that ok so then from this two I can write down that B1 is equal to B2 and whereas B1 is equal to B2 and that value is equal to mu naught I by it will become 4 pi R so obviously exactly half of it so what is a magnetic field ok at this place due to the first part magnetic field at the due to first part is mu naught i by 4 pi r now what left once we know the magnetic field we can go for force value then how to find out the force value on this small part how it is carrying the current it is carrying the current uh, which is into the plane then how much current it will carry the small part will carry the current of d i dash let us say then how to write down the i dash value i dash value we can write down total current is i by what is the unit length 2 pi r see in the entire 2 pi r periphery if you want you can see here the current is coming I mean going inside in the entire watt length 2 pi r length in 2 pi r length how much current is going i current is going going into the uh, what is a cylinder so then what is i dash value current per unit length into length of this small part that I am taking as dx ok length of the small part I am taking as dx so this will be the current but it's not length like it's uh, you can say that this is a width ok so instead of length so I will explain better here yeah so this is the width is dx I have taken ok na? and what is the length value length will be obviously infinity length is infinity but what I am doing is I am taking the length of dl because on infinite we cannot calculate so that's why I am taking the length of dl so uh, ultimately what will be the force let us see ok so if I am taking the element of what is the element I am taking on the cylinder length is dl what is the width is width is dx then how much is current going like this uh, current going in this way is I dash then how the magnetic field is the magnetic field is something B in this direction which is B1 bar ok so then what will be the force acting the force acting will be directly we can write down the formula DF bar is equal to I into DL bar cross B bar this is the force acting now clearly you can say that dl vector ok this is the dl vector dl vector and b vector both are perpendicular to each other how the dl to be taken dl to be taken should be in the current direction please follow all these words ok terminology so that you can solve the questions this is the dl bar so that you can find out the direction also ok hmm. then what is the force value I can write down force magnitude let us say force magnitude is the current value is i dash dl into b1 into sin 90 so obviously this force will be perpendicular to the screen let us say this element is there on the screen ok b bar is leftward then uh, what do you say that the force dl bar cross b bar will be force into the plane ok now force in, into the screen so then df value I can write down magnitude is i dash which is i by 2 pi r into dx multiplied with dl into the b1 value is mu naught i by 4 pi r see this is a place where most of the people will do mistake actually they while they calculating the magnetic pressure they will take the mu naught i by uh, 2 pi r but that that's not the scenario we should we cannot take we cannot take the magnetic field due to entire uh, uh, cylinder we have to take the we have to divide into two parts then we have to calculate the force acting on the second part by the first part so then you will get the proper value ok so then df is equal to I can write down mu naught into i square by ok 8 pi square r square into dl into dx so what is this dl into dx will represent dl is width sorry dl is length and dx is width then this dl into dx will give you area of elemental part ok on which df force is acting 
then I think you can conclude the pressure now. What the pressure is? See, force is acting into it. So if I'm taking the cylinder, how the force direction is? You can take force direction is something like this. You can take force direction is inward. Okay. So every elemental will experience force inward according to our directions. Okay. Uh, then what is the force acting? The force acting is DF value. We got it. Then force per unit area, which is DF by DX into DL is equal to what I can write down mu naught I square by I'll get 8 pi square R square. So this is the mantle static pressure experienced by the hollow cylinder when it is carrying the current I and where the current is what along the length. Okay. So I'll give you one task before uh, ending this uh, particular video. When current flows along this direction, let us say, and this is infinite cylinder. Okay, please comment your answer. What is the magnetic field outside and inside the cylinder? So hope you understood. Okay, so as I'm taking the cylinder like this, infinite log cylinder. Now current flows in this way. Current is not passing along the length, not like this. Okay, current going along the curvature then what is the magnetic field inside and outside the cylinder so please uh, let me know your answer in the comment section so according to your demand i will make a video on this also if you want okay so hope all of you enjoyed this uh, content so please uh, like it and please share it with your friends also thank you so much we will meet in the next video